Om Shanti and we are back with 16th of June Godly Blessing where Supreme Godfather wants us to become an easy yogi. Somebody who is in connection with the Supreme Father, the Supreme Creator or the Supreme Soul. So what do we need to change in ourselves so that we become an easy yogi or we are in constant touch with the truth? Let's understand that. In the heading God says, May you become an easy yogi and jnani soul, knowledgeful soul, by finishing all your weaknesses with the constant company of the truth. Seek the truth and the truth shall set you free. That means free from any bondages, free from any troubles and tribulations, free from any confusion, free from any form of division of interest in your mind. Knowing what is right and what is wrong can be confusing. So when we are in the company of the truth, all that weakness is gone. So God says any weakness comes when you step away from the truth. The weakness can be ego or jealousy or let's say having envy with somebody can be a weakness of finding faults, finding negativity in everything can also become a weakness. So God says when you step away from the truth and become engaged in other company. This is why they say in devotion, constantly stay in the company of the truth. The company of the truth means to stay constantly in the company of the true father. That means the supreme creator who is the truth, who can guide us through his powers, through his knowledge through the virtues as he is an ocean of virtues in the right direction and when we are not in his company and we're looking out for other companies that's the time we get astray into different directions and we find ourselves lost so God says if you want to be in the right direction be in my company to have the company of the true father is easy for you children because you have a close relationship with him one thing is to call him God and one thing is to call him our creator and one thing is to call him our father. Which is the closest relationship you think? The last one, right? So get to know him. Who is he? What does he look like? Where does he live? What is his name? What does he do? How does he create this world drama? If all this knowledge comes to us, then our relationship is more stronger, just like you get to know a person, a friend. How do you make a friend? You get to know that person, how he looks. What is his name? What does he do? Where does he stay? And what are his characteristics? That's how you get to know a person and you become friendly with that person, right? Same goes for the Supreme Creator, the Supreme Soul. So God says, so stay constantly in the company of the truth and become an easy yogi. And Jnani Soul who finishes all weaknesses for that we need to understand that it is only He Himself who can guide us. Either we ask for our solutions from Him or we look for other companies and get distracted. And when we find ourselves into trouble and tribulations and we get stuck somewhere, that's the time we call out for God. That's why it is said that everybody remembers God when they are in trouble and nobody remembers Him when they are in the easy, effortless times or in the times of complete happiness so if you want complete happiness in every moment it is important to keep him the truth as a company that means to meditate on him how do we do that meditation how do we stay in constant touch with him like a telepathic communication with him is what we learn in Pramakumaris, which you too can come and learn and make effort to be his companion his friend but for that, the easy method would be to transform the self. Be in connection with the self, the true self. You can get to know your true identity, the true self in the seven day course in Brahma Kumaris. Do join it and get to know yourself and your creator. With this, Om Shanti.